Hi everyone, and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be opening more Star Wars Disney Dorables. This time around, I'm doing one of each of the new releases for the Star Wars Dorables line. I really love the Galactic Cruisers, I love the little starships, and they match really well with the Disney Dorable figure inside. And then I also have one of the Galaxy Peaks where you get four Star Wars Dorables in the little mini Death Star display box. So I think that's really cute. They are a very small series overall, but we shall see how many new figures we can add to our growing Star Wars Disney Dorable collection. First up, let's start with our Galaxy Peak little Death Star capsule. Those are a lot of fun. And again, you just get four. There's no chance of finding any like extra ones. And you do get the cool Death Star. <laughs> I'm really glad they went with this design. And so when it opens up, you have two different display pieces and they do stack, um, which is pretty cool as well. Okay, so that goes together like so. You can display two figures per level. There's our four. And then here's a look at the checklist. There's 25 in this series and they are different from the little mini figures you can find in the Galactic Cruisers. Although some characters repeat, their poses are a little different. And then on the back, oh, I would love to find Lando. They do have some from the Disney Plus shows, which is pretty cool. I'm curious to see how they did Ahsoka's lightsaber and the dark saber that Bo-Katan has. That's that's pretty neat. <laughs> the droids look especially cute for some reason in, in this series as well. Okay, so let's start with this blind bag. And oh, yes, we have Lando Calrissian. Oh no, I dropped him. <laughs> the scoundrel himself. Okay, he has the cape. Why the frowny face though? I love Empire Strikes Back. That is my favorite Star Wars movie, and that is where Lando is introduced with Cloud City, and such, such a great character. Glad to see him back in um, The Rise of Skywalker as well. And now that I look at it, he has more of a smirk. His mustache is like going down, but he has the smirk and the raised eyebrow. Ah, oh, just, just perfect. <laughs> And on the checklist, Lando is a common, but new to my collection, and I have his buddy, Han. <laughs> the, I, I, I like how they did the joke in the solo movie. It, it works. Okay, we will put you up top there. And then, the land bag number two. Oh, we have, um, oh, I'm blanking on her name, no. <laughs> we have Hera, and I know she's from the cartoons as well as the Ahsoka series, which I haven't, um, haven't finished. But she's really cute. She's like one of the Twi'lek characters. Awesome, and then on the checklist, she is actually an ultra rare. I know like the animated Star Wars um, cartoons are really, really good. And I heard a lot of great things about them. I've, I've actually never watched any. I know, and like the Clone Wars and a lot of it with Darth Maul, I just, there's so much, <laughs> there's so much. But um, I definitely want to complete the Ahsoka series, the live, the live action ones on Disney Plus. Okay, we'll put you down here just in case. And then our next blend bag is going to be Luke Skywalker. So cool, I love how they did the clear blue lightsaber. So this is also from um, Empire Strikes Back. But alas, Luke is our very first duplicate. He is a common, I need to find Vader to complete that, that epic battle scene right there. <laughs> but you can go hang out with, with Lando. Okay, and our very last blind bag is going to be, oh, C-3PO. Yes, our favorite protocol droid. And I really like how they did the gold paint. And you know what? His eyes work perfectly for the Disney Dorable style. Really nicely done with that gold metallic paint. Yes, you gotta love, you gotta love C-3PO. And on the checklist, C-3PO is a rare. And last time we found R2-D2, so yep, they are gonna look absolutely adorable together. He looks scared here. <laughs> he looks he looks better in his figure. <laughs> Ooh, and I almost forgot, the code for this one was A10. I have now seen the D series, so I'm not sure how those parallel or match up, but this one was A10 for, for the A packs. 
And then we have one of the Galactic Cruisers. There are just 10 in this series to collect. Again, I would love to find the Darth Vader one. The Ahsoka one looks cool because she has a Loth cat. And then the special edition is Chewbacca. And then the code for this one, it is along the side. So this is also, oh gosh, so hard to see. It's an A series and it's A16. Okay. We also have a little Grogu. <laughs> I'm sure he's gonna look absolutely perfect in adorable style as well. So they're taped up top. Okay, we'll start with the vehicle. This vehicle actually feels rather large. So inside, oh my goodness, we have an X-Wing with tentacles. Okay, I think I know who this is. That's adorable. And inside, we have little Grogu with his blue biscuits, <laughs> looking happy and munchy. Okay, that is too, too cute. And sure enough, looking absolutely adorable. So we can fit him in like so. Okay, that is so cute. He looks so happy with his little biscuits. Ooh, this one has really small wheels, so it doesn't roll too well on its own. It needs a little push, but still it makes up for that in sheer cuteness and, and fun because little Grogu likes to eat. <laughs> And on the checklist, Grogu is actually a rare. Our first little rare from the Galactic Cruisers. Out of the five little Star Wars figures we opened today, feel free to let me know which one was your favorite and is the Star Wars Dorables collection something you'd go after, whether or not you're a big Star Wars fan? Feel free to let me know down below. As for me, I do love all the ones we opened today, and I do feel that the paint job on these have been really, really good, because I know sometimes the adorables, if you watch my videos, can, can be hit or miss. Um, they did a great job with C-3PO. I love the sparkly eyes. Little Grogu's adorable, but I think my favorite figure is going to be Lando Calrissian in his classic Cloud City outfit. Again, I really, really love that character, and Empire Strikes Back will always have a very special place in my heart. And that'll do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it or found it useful for your own shopping. If you did, feel free to give it a thumbs up. And I want to thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I hope to see you in the next one. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.